Here with Grant Morris, he's the captain of Haven RFC. Uh, how do you think the game went today then, Grant? Uh, it was good. Another step in the right direction. Uh, <laughs> thoroughly gutting. So we're here today with Grant Morris, uh, captain of Haven RFC. So Grant, how do you think it went? Uh, obviously disappointing, 20 all. Um, should have really taken the game uh, on the balance of it, I think. Uh, second half performance is huge. Uh, definitely another stepping stone in the right direction. OK, uh, so what do you think we could have done better on today's game? Um, I think the, the first half coming in, I think it was 13-0 down, was a massive stepping stone for us to get over. Uh, we had to hurdle a couple of flower pots in order to do that. Um, I think possibly slightly too psyched before the game coming into it. We, we levelled ourselves out in the second half and showed that I think overall we were the better side and really should have taken the victory. OK, and I know you train on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so on Tuesday, what would be the first thing we're going to uh, approach from a captain's point of view? Um, I just think it's more of the same. I think the training for the last month or so has been excellent. Um, it's getting us in the right frame of mind, training in the right areas, and it's showing on the pitch. We're starting to play better, and that ultimately does come from training. So I think it's just more of the same. OK, and uh, I know that uh, a lot of the fans were talking about fitness and things, so do you think we're going to bring these into the uh, training schedule at all? Um, I don't. Fitness is something we always look at, free fizz. Um, but looking at it out there, I think man for man, we were fitter than them for the whole game. Uh, proved in the fact that in the second half, after uh, 40 minutes of rugby, we dominated. I mean, as a, uh, as a spectator, I'm stuck in limbo because I don't really support either team. But I know that both teams played well. And uh, I know that you'll uh, bring it to Tuesday and Thursday. So thank you very much, Grant. No, thank you. And, and it, what assistant coach, head coach? I'm a coaching assistant. But coaches. I'll... I'll go with head coach. To that. I'll go head coach for this. Video. Yeah, that really pissed Will off. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we're uh, we're having RFC with the head coach <laughs> Kerry Packer. Um, Kerry, what do you think uh, we worked on for this game? Well, the main things we've been focusing on for the for the last four weeks has just been shape and patterns. Um, we've got a bunch of very very talented individuals. Um, and it's getting them to believe just how good they can be. And in order to do that, we put a bit of a shape on the game, where we want them to be at what time, and when they get there, what do they do? And it's starting to come now. You see in the second half especially, the pattern started to move through, the forwards started to link up, the back started to get the ball wide, and suddenly we started scoring points. So that's very rewarding. Yeah, I noticed today that the, uh, the penalty count from, uh, from past matches was down a lot uh, this game from past matches. How do you think that sort of uh, reflected in the... Well, we're still giving far too many penalties away, full stop. Um, and that, that, that's a mixture of things. It's a, it's a combination of being a bit nervous before the game, as, as Grant alluded to, maybe a bit oversight. So they were trying a bit too hard, uh, pushing the boundaries a little bit. And they've just got to learn how to play refs a little bit better. But, but to be honest with you, I'd rather them be eager and give penalties away than, than be standing back and, and sucking up points, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, from my point of view, it really looked like we took it to them today. And uh, from past matches, uh, it looked like we really, really sort of pushed forward and had the aggression that we should have been showing in the earlier of the season. So how do you think we're going to take that into Tuesday and Thursday's sessions? Well, again, that's something we work on every session. Tuesday and Thursday, we work, about, we work on the line speed from the, from the tackle situation, whether it's a ruck or a maul and from a set piece. Uh, and as you allude to, in that second half there, we started to get that back into our game. So we started putting them under pressure when they got the ball in their hand. So we're offensive in our defence and it worked. We turned them over and we, we managed to get the ball wide and score points. Okay. And on a, on a personal level, what do you want to take further into the training sessions? The belief, the belief side of things. I mean, Will, who was actually the head coach, I'm sort of his assistant. Uh, we played together back in the day. But my, my focus really is on their belief and their understanding of just ex exactly how good they can be. Uh, once, they, once that clicks and it's, it's nearly there, suddenly that arrogance, that strut comes into it. And before you know it, we're winning games without even thinking about it because they're just doing what they do. They're doing it well and they're not worried about anything going wrong because it won't because they have the confidence. Thank you very much, Kerry Packer. I'm Josh Blackburn for CWN News. How do you, you think today's game went? What you want to bring into Tuesday and Thursday sessions and uh, what we can look forward uh, to, to be doing in the Christmas, future with the club. Christmas. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. We're going to keep it short. Hi, I'm Josh Blackburn here with Rob Matthews, uh, the manager from Hammond RSC. So, Rob, how do you think today's game went? Unfortunately, it's a bit of a cliche, but it was a game of two halves. You know, the first half we were shocking. Uh, we gave them you know, an easy 13-point lead, and then we were playing catch-up. To our credit, you know, we came out firing in all cylinders at the beginning of the second half, got a couple of quick scores and kept the pressure on. A bit disappointing to give away a try towards the end to allow them a draw. But, you know, if we go back to sort of just before the Bracknell game mid-December, 
the reality is is that you know we hadn't actually scored 20 points in a game before then, and now we're disappointed when we only get 20, and that's the measure of how far we've come. Uh, we've heard a couple of opinions uh, in previous interviews. Uh, from a personal level, what would you like to take into Tuesday and Thursday sessions? I think what I'd like to do is, is just to keep, keep the intensity going. The difficulty is is that we're training this, you can take the foot off the gas and, and I think we've had three good games now, but actually is you know we are still bottom of the league, that's the reality of it. So we now just start to bring a level of intensity to our training that is going to be easy to transfer into games. I think that's you know that showed you the patch at the beginning of the you know the game where we struggled to really get into the game because we haven't been creating intensity, you know, that's what we need to do. And uh, just quickly, as a look forward, what can the fans and I and everyone else be looking forward to as a future of Hamden RFC? I think you know, I think that we've got a lot of young players in there. You know, we've got four or five players that are playing at you know under twenty level, and and the reality is, is beginning of this season they just weren't experienced. We're now halfway through, and the benefit of playing those boys is starting to show where they are now being able to grind out you know, for 80 minutes where perhaps we didn't do it before. So I think that's going to continue to grow and honestly believe is that we're going to be competitive in our mini league of five at the bottom. You know, and, and if we you know, if we keep developing the way we are, then I honestly believe that we'll stay in this league and then can build on for it for next year. Uh, thank you very much, Rob Matthews. And that brings it to an end. Thanks, thank you very much.